Mrs. Peabody, we don't shoot the wedding scene for two weeks. Go ahead, Penelope. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. Too British, she's supposed to be an American kid. But, Grandmother, how can one possibly be too British? Please, Mrs. Peabody, I've got problems. Go right ahead, Penelope. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. How do you like that plagiarism? Look, honey, go back the old way. This way, nobody will understand you. We'll shoot it next Tuesday. Oh, Mr. Buckley. Not now, honey. I got business to attend to. Wait a minute. Penelope, how would you like a present? A present? But why, sir? There's no occasion. There will be if you accept it. Look, a bow wow just for you. Oh, he's beautiful. So diminutive. And he's small, too. I'd love to take him, Mr. Buckley. But I couldn't. You couldn't? No, you see, I have a dog at home, actually. A very faithful dog. I wouldn't dream of hurting his feelings. Do you have to tell him? Oh, I wouldn't have to tell him. He'd know. Dogs are much smarter than people. They sense things. They're more loyal, too. You see, dogs love you when no one else loves you. They don't care if you're rich or smart or pretty or anything. Looks like I was designed for dogs. Dog is man's best friend. And when you have a problem, he's always there to help. I wouldn't dream of taking him from you, Mr. Buckley. But thank you kindly, just the same. Something old, something new. Something borrowed, something blue. That's what every bride should do. Looks like we're gonna have a wedding after all, pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> 